We're going to turn now to a historic move at the famed New York City Ballet. Chun Wei Chan, first principal dancer of Chinese descent at the ballet in its more than 70-year history. And he was promoted to that position in May, made his debut as principal last month in a show that runs through this weekend. And as a reminder of how far we are into the year, after that, he's going to prepare for the Nutcracker because holiday time is coming up fast. Christina Ruffini met with Chun to learn about his path to the heights of the ballet world. Christina, good morning. Good morning, guys. Well, George Balanchine, one of the founders of the New York City Ballet, once said, I don't want people who want to dance. I want people who have to dance. And nobody embodies that more than the company's newest leading man. Ballet begins in preparation, a routine that starts long before dancers ever take the stage. Have you always wanted to be a dancer? I started dancing when, when I was six years old. My sister was in the dance team and I thought that's so cool and I want to be a dancer too. This season, Chen Wei Chan made his premiere as principal at the New York City Ballet. He's the first Chinese dancer to ever hold that position in the legendary company's 74 year history. Was this like a lifelong goal? I never thought about it because it's too big to think about. Chun's journey to Lincoln Center started 20 years ago and more than 8,000 miles away in Guangdong, China. We are coming from a very traditional family. They want me to become a lawyer, a doctor. Chun was accepted to a prestigious National Dance Academy before reaching his teens, but his parents weren't sold on the idea. I wrote them a letter saying that this is really what I want to do. This is my decision. So even though it's not going well, I would not blame on my parents. So at 12 years old, you wrote them a letter justifying why you wanted to go to this dance school. Yeah. And did they let you go? They let me go. Talent and a lot of hard work landed him on stage in an international dance competition in Switzerland, which he lost, but won a life-changing consolation prize, an offer to come to the U.S. and join the Houston Ballet at the age of 18. In China, I have been focusing on how to improve my technique, mostly. Once I came to America, I learned all those techniques are served to tell a story. And that's changed my mind of ballet. It's not boring at all. It's so much fun. In Texas, he learned English and the joys of social media. He also discovered he could jump really, really high. Feeling there's a no gravity is one of the best feeling. I've seen you. You look like you're like on strings. It took me a long time because how we train in China, we cannot jump as high as we can. Uh, we could right, right away because they want us to have a good format, good base before we do something hard. Now the limits are off and you can, you can I could really fly. Then came the biggest jump of all to New York City. What do you like about Central Park? Why do you come here? It's so chill and I love people watching. And people like watching him from his frequent spontaneous performances around the city. That was the best pirouette in grass I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> to a high profile stint on Chinese reality TV. Wow. So what caught your eye about Chen Wei Chen? His absolute professionalism and command of not only the technique, but this energy that he brought. Jonathan Stafford is the artistic director of the New York City Ballet, home to legends like Balanchine and Barishnikov. He says the company's distinct style puts less emphasis on the precision and uniformity Chun learned in his youth. We want straight lines, but we also want the dancers to dance through the choreography. And if someone pops out a little bit, it's fine. They're allowed to be more open to the audience. Learning to balance Chinese and American dance styles, as well as cultures, Chun says has made him a bit of an ambassador for both. Do you consider yourself American? You've been here for more than 10 years now. Yeah, I think I would say this is my second home, and I enjoy the life here so much. And the what? The, the, two. That's to new. He says he's finally comfortable enough with English to start teaching and adult classes. And P, K, and stay, and smile. <laughs> Helping a certain former dancer turned TV correspondent live out a lifelong dream. That was really he good. New York City Ballet. <laughs> yeah, that was amazing. Why does diversity help with the company? When you have diversity, you're better. When you can have the best of everything that anyone has to offer, you're going to be better. 
Because even at the top, there's still room for improvement. For Chen Wei Chen and the New York City Ballet. One of the reasons I love ballet because there's no limit and you can always make it perfect. And it's so challenging that always you have something to improve on. And if you're wondering if Chen's parents yes. ever came around, they were the first people he called when he was promoted to principal. He said he had tears in his eyes and he was calling them. And they said this was great, but you know, you have to keep working hard. This isn't the end. This is yeah. only the beginning. I love that. I love that reversal of like, we don't want you to do it. And then like, all right, if you're going to do it, you got to be the absolute best. Have to be the top of the top of the top. You know, this is like, if you think about how many kids dance when they're little, right? How many many people have their kids in dance class? How many of those make a career out of it? And this is the top. This is like not getting in the NFL. This is like being an NFL quarterback, you know, in a playoff team. I could not take my eyes off of his legs. His legs are amazing. Incredible. Eyes. Incredible. And the the calves. But let me say, you had some moves. Did you take (laughs) ballet? No, you did, Christine. I'm serious. I I did. I was uh, as a as a kid. As a kid, as a teenager, I was quite serious for a while. I missed out on a lot of fun and chaos in my youth. But I hey, knew it. Tell. I saw those I moves. But you Christina, would you like to pirouette off the off the set over to there? Just go show us a move. Um, go I, ahead. I would not. But okay. I, I do appreciate <laughs> yeah. the yeah. offer. Don't let Gil set you up for an injury in here. Yeah. But I did like those moves, Christina, Ruffini, Ballerini. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. <laughs>